This video shows how to load substrates in the dual roll-to-roll -roll configuration on the HP Latex 3000 printer. Two substrate rolls are mounted on the rear dual roll spindle and are collected on the front dual roll spindle. This configuration is suitable for printing two entire rolls at the same time. The substrate cannot be cut mid-roll. Use the dual roll center supports to make sure that no part of the substrate path suffers from an excess of tension due to the weight of the substrate. Adjusting the center supports will only need to be done at installation. Unlock the center support rod of the input spindle support. Adjust the center support under the center mark of the single input spindle. Once adjusted, release the support rod and lift the rod one additional turn. Then hand tighten the lock nut. Lock the center support rod into its final position by tightening the lock nut and two set screws. Insert a screw to the side of the lock nut to keep it in place. Repeat the process at the output side to adjust the output spindle center support. Loading the dual roll spindles should be done by two people. Locking the dual roll spindle differential will make loading the spindle easier. When loading substrate, it is important to get uniform tension across its width and length to minimize skew, wrinkles, and telescoping. Load a dual roll spindle with two empty cores into the front of the printer. Close the latches on both ends of the spindle. Now center the cores using the lines on both sides of the dual roll spindle center. Then inflate the valves at both ends to fix the cores. Unlock the differential in the output spindle. The cores can now move independently from one another. Install the output side or front dual roll center support. The center support rollers will be aligned with the dual roll spindle's center guides. Now, load the dual input spindle with the substrates into the rear of the printer. The geared end of the spindle goes on the left. Rest the spindle ends on the platforms provided. Plastic pads are provided to absorb impacts. Then roll the spindle into place. Note that if the rolls are of unequal lengths, the longer roll should be on the geared side of the spindle. This is the left as seen from the rear of the printer. Close the latches on both sides to lock the spindle into place. Center both substrate rolls using the lines at the center of the dual roll spindle. Inflate the valves at both ends to fix the rolls. Unlock the input spindle differential. The cores can now move independently from each other. Install the input side or rear dual roll center support. The center support rollers will be aligned with the dual roll spindle's center guides. Go to the internal print server and select Substrate Load Unload. At the Substrate Load screen, select Manual Loading Type and Roll to Roll Configuration. Then check Dual Roll. 
Open the front door of the printer. Unlock the latches on both sides of the curing module. Slide out the curing module to open it. Go to the back of the printer. Remove the tape from the substrate rolls. Unlock the loading table latches. Before lowering the second latch, place your hand on the loading table so it does not drop. Open the loading table. Unwind the length of substrate from one of the rolls. Place the edge of the substrate into the print zone. Then feed the substrate through the print path until it reaches the output spindle at the front of the printer. Unwind a length of substrate from the second input roll. Place the edge of the substrate into the print zone. Then feed the substrate through the print path until it reaches the output spindle at the front of the printer. Now, tape the substrate to the cores. Tape the middle of the substrate first and then tape the right and left sides of the substrate. Lock the differential on the output spindle. Then rotate the spindle to tighten the substrate on the cores. Make sure they are evenly tensioned and flat, no bumps or wrinkles. If you are using edge holders, install them now. At the front of the printer, insert one edge holder between the two substrates. Then attach edge holders on the outside edges of each substrate. Go to the back of the printer. Attach the back half of the center edge holder between the two substrates. Attach the back half of each of the outside edge holders in the same way. Make sure the substrate edge aligns with the marks on each of the edge holders. Return to the front of the printer. Close the curing module and lock the latches on both sides. Close the front door. Go to the back of the printer. Close the loading table and latches. Make sure the input spindle differential is unlocked. Then return to the front of the printer and make sure the differential on the output spindle is also unlocked. Go to the internal print server. Select the substrate category and type you are using. Make sure that roll to roll and dual roll are still checked under Select Configuration and then click Finish. Your printer is now ready to print. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash HP Support Advanced.